Hello, and installing OBS is probably not the hardest thing that you will ever do, but with Wayland getting so popular and it basically being the default editor, or sorry, the default window manager, you kind of need a bit of a setup to get it working. So I have KDE installed and now for X11, so for Xorg, you just have to do sudo pacman s and OBS Studio. And this is everything you need to kind of get OBS working. And you'll notice that if I just go in here, use OBS, it, it will just get on and yeah, I kind of set it up before. So yeah, and you can see that with this pipeware, the display capture does not work. But if I just go in here, you can see there is an option called this one right here that does use the kind of like the XOR server to get it installed and it just grabs it immediately. And you can configure it in here. So if you are using any desktop environment that uses X11, you are done. Like thank you for watching if you are on XOR. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and also leave a like uh, if you did find this helpful. But for anyone who is using Wayland, there is a bit more that we need to do and here's what we we need so let me just show you why we need a bit more configuration if i just go to here on the piper one so this is basically what um wayland uses to or obs uses to kind of uh, get display capture working on wayland so what do we need the first thing you would need is pipewire and yeah it is the default like audio for everyone but in case you don't have it make sure to get it so pipewire wire plumber and this is the important part you need xdg desktop portals so yeah this is very important make sure to get this and also the desktop portal for your desktop environment so for example i'm using kde so i'll just get kde but and if you're using something like gnome get gnome if you're using hyperland make sure to get hyperland so whichever desktop environment or window manager you're using make sure to get that one uh, but i'll show you in a bit like how you can check what are available so if i just do this get it installed and now we can do sudo pacman ss so this will kind of search through the pacman repository and show you that if i just type in this it will show you what desktop portals are available and see you have cosmic we have deep in we have gnome so kind of go through what you need but and if you can't find it in here you can see the wlr which is for wall roots so any anything that uses wl roots will kind of work with that and if something is except you can install that one so basically get the one you need so now we can do systemctl dash dash user so we have to enable pipewire and like xdg desktop portal so we need to enable all of that to get it kind of working so you can do user enable so make sure to type in dash dash now because uh, with enable you have to reboot the system before you it works so make sure to do now and then wire plumber again get it enabled you can see it is enabled and also we can do xdg uh, we can also do a uh, pipewire dash pulse so this is what uh, obs uses for its audio handling so now that everything is working uh, and in case you don't have like hyper pulse make sure to install it if i can spell it right anyway there you go that's how you install everything now it's not done yet hold on so here are the few issues you may face so now if i just get in and you can see it's still not working uh, usually if you just re-log in it should work but also you can just reinstall obs if it doesn't work at this point but uh, here's a bit more of configuration that you can do so as you can see if i just type in xd desktop portal it says there is no configuration file so and there is you cannot enable xd desktop portal kde so what can you do well what you have to tell xd desktop portal to use kde as the default portal so here's how to set it up so with this we can actually check if the xd desktop portal is actually running and with this you can see that it is active and it is running and since there is no like, kde it just throws an error if you try to do that so make sure to not do that so if i just get into obs now as you see it's still not working so usually our log out should work now we can specify how to kind of get xdg working by doing this and this is the folder that you need i think you need to create the folder first because yeah it should not be available by default or else if you just hit tab it just auto fails but uh, let's just check anyway so this is the file that you need so basically portal.config and if i hit enter it should throw an error yeah it does throw an error that the folder does not exist uh, and it's a pretty straightforward fix we can make the folder so yeah we can just do mkdir and it will make the folder and we can go back to editing it and in here we just have to add two lines more of one liner to be honest but you know it's a two line to make it look good and it needs to be two line so in here we'll just set the default to xdg desktop portal kd and that's about it basically just save the file and exit out of it and now we just have to restart this portal and there you go now with all of this you should have it running like a simple relog or restart should work but 
just in case you can see that it is not working yet so let's just do a quick relog now we'll just do a quick log out and then uh, first let me log in to wayland or give it the password and we are in and if i just open up obs right now it should be working and i'll just do a quick reinstall first just in case and yeah it should <laughs> do a quick reinstall there you go now if i run obs yeah and you can see the selector menu pops up so if you see this menu that means it's just working so you have screens you have like windows so if i just select screen as you can see it just picked it up and again just to show you that you need two different ones for wayland and x11 so both of them like they don't work in like interconnectively you need two different ones for different display captures uh i'll like you can see the video while i tell you to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video check out the shop for new merch drops and if you don't want anything just donate to the channel it does help out a ton and allows me to keep helping you guys so make sure to leave a like and leave a comment on uh why do like are you a content creator to why do you use obs and do you have any great uh, screen recorder that you do use in linux and i'll maybe try it out maybe it's better than this obs so let me know so as you can see if i log into x11 it does not work like sorry if i log into x11 uh, you can see that the like viper like one of them will not work if you like go into the other desktop environment so i'm in window manager well, whatever if i do to wayland so if i get in here just quickly pop into obs and just you can see this works but if i turn this off that does not work so that's about it for this video hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did stick around till the end of the video thank you for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next one bye